I'm going to tell you this, I don't know why, but for those of you who speak English, you might share it with this bloke if you know. There was some fellow, he may well be very well-meaning, very lovely chap, his name's Pascal, something or other, and he wanted to come on stage and make a speech um, this evening um, about Duma, about East Bhutan, about Woo! what he believes was a chemical attack on the people of Duma by um, Bashar Assad. Hang on a minute, let me finish. Um, and he is one voice. I personally think he's entirely wrong. I believe the, the <coughs> oh, yes. organization that he purports to represent and who he supports, the White Helmets, are a fake Thank organization you. that exists Thank only you. to create propaganda for the jihadists and terrorists who are working in that part of the world. That's my belief, so we have <laughs> opposing beliefs. But if we were to listen to Pascal, and if we were listening to the propaganda of the White Helmets and others, we would be encouraged to encourage our governments to go and start dropping bombs on people in Syria. <laughs> this would be a mistake of monumental proportions in terms of us as human beings. What we should do is be persuading our governments not to go and drop bombs on people. And certainly not until we have done all the research that is necessary so that we have a clear idea of what is really going on. Because we live in a world where propaganda seems to be more important than the reality of what's really going on in place. I would encourage Pascal to wait until the evidence is in before he leaps to any conclusions. And I, I would also encourage Pascal to join me and all of you in this room. We be on stage here. We feel the love that is in this room here in Buffalo tonight. And, and if we all are to make any sense of the future of this fragile lonely little planet in, as far as we know in the middle of almost nowhere. <clears throat> We're only going to do that, that by reaching out to each other across all the walls and national boundaries and ethnicities and religions and nationalities in order to increase our capacity to empathize with each other and to act collectively for the sake of our children and our grandchildren and future generations to give them the world to live in when they die. So there, uh, Nascar, I bet you know it will. But wake up and smell the fucking roses. <coughs> Lead guitar, Dave Kilminster.